Welcome, welcome. Lightning AI is a powerful end-to-end -end platform for working with AI models and projects, from data processing all the way to deploying AI apps. The platform offers a lot of great features that we'll show you how to use. In the free version of Lightning AI, you'll have one free Active Studio with 22 GPU hours monthly to use AI models like LLMs and diffusion models, a web-based IDE that you can code from, persistent environment that includes Studio's ability to remember files, data, and settings. So when you log off, you'll return to the environment just as you left it. And then you'll have the ability to host web apps, share checkpoints, and switch to different GPU models. When you click on Get Started, Lightning AI will bring you through this wizard to set up your environment. Choose whether you want light mode or dark mode. When you select your options, you'll see Lightning AI process your choice and configure your settings as you go. Click on Next and choose your coding experience. You can choose from VS Code. You can choose to connect to a local IDE or choose a Jupyter Notebook. As you select different options, you'll see a preview of what those environments look like. Click Next. If you're looking to work with AI models, you can select what data formats you want to work with. You can work with images, video, text, other data formats. And if you don't want to work with AI models, just click no AI, just coding. But you'll notice here you can select multiple data formats. So select whatever data formats you want. You can choose to connect your GitHub account, but we're just going to click next. And you can also invite other users to your studio. We'll click on Open Studio. Lightning AI brings you some more onboarding content, but I want to point out this onboarding step where you can choose to run through a tutorial. You can deploy an AI web app, fine tune a model, run a hyperparameter sweep, or you can just say skip and I'll bring my own code and data. Click on next. And then here's some practical info about using environments, mentioning how one studio equals one environment. So if you want multiple environments, then you'll have to create another studio. Click on I understand and Lightning AI will finish configuring your environment. If you've used VS Code and chose the VS Code experience, this should look familiar to you with your top menu, side menu on the left, with the side panel that allows you to view your file explorer, use search functionality, manage source control, run and debug your code, manage extensions, run tests, and manage your GitHub connection. In the top right, you'll have your GPU slash CPU, RAM and disk usage statistics. You can share, publish your workspace. And on the right panel here, you can configure your studio environment so you can change from CPU to GPU. And this is where you can choose your GPU model. You can access the terminal, access the shared file system. And this indicates that we're currently using VS Code, but you can change the coding experience to Jupyter Notebook. You can run jobs, that is workflows, extended workflows, use TensorBoard for TensorFlow, or add other plugins. To find the tutorials, we'll click on start a quest, this call to action up here, but you can access it using lightning.ai forward slash quest. And it shows you tutorials of real use cases from deploying AI web apps, data cleansing, fine tuning models, and pre-training models. You'll see how many credits you can earn by completing the tutorial and a description. So choose your tutorial and click on start. We'll go through the tutorial on fine-tuning a pre-trained model. When you click on that tutorial, it opens up this page for the steps. Click on this button to open the template in the studio. Lightning AI will set up the environment for you and will open up this fine-tune.py script. The M indicates the file has been modified. The Python code uses OpenAI's clip model for image classification, pairing images and text. We'll run the code using the CPU. For performance, there are numbers in the bottom right corner. 
One to note is the time to epic, which is the amount of time it takes for the data to cycle through the model once. You can see here it was 16 seconds and the number of iterations per second. So right now it's 0.39 iterations per second. If you want to compare attempts at fine tuning the model, open TensorBoard to view the loss curves for each attempt. Scroll down and you'll see a chart that compares the attempts. We'll stop the terminal and switch from CPU to a GPU model. So we'll click on this icon up here, click GPU, we'll choose A10G, click confirm. It'll take a little bit to allocate a GPU. So once it does, confirm that you want to switch to the GPU. Make sure you're saving your file. You can run the script in the background even when you close your browser. We'll click on the run icon Notice the time to epic is less than a second and it's running at about 11 iterations per second. That's about 28 times faster than the CPUs. We'll stop running the terminal. We'll go back to the main tutorial page and mark the tutorial complete. Put your Lightning AI Studio environment to sleep so you don't burn through your credits. If you want to see how many credits you have left, you have to click on the icon in the top left corner. Hopefully they'll add it to the studio later, but here on your homepage dashboard, you see their credits in the top right corner. When you click on the credits, you can see more details. You can also transfer or add credits. In the left navigation, you can view your work. Click on my studios to view the history. From this list, there are three dots from which you can take different actions on the studios. In the top menu, we're going to click on Studio Templates where we'll find all kinds of AI templates for Llama, RAG, Langflow, Stable Diffusion, models from Hugging Face, and other templates. You can browse or search for templates. While the Quest tutorials appear to help users with specific tasks within the Lightning AI Studio, any content in the Studio templates, including the blog posts, papers, tutorials, appear to provide users with templates for different AI models. The left menu acts as a filter for different types of templates, similar to what you might see on an e-commerce site when browsing or shopping for templates or products. You can easily find workflow templates or templates that work with various types of data, including audio, image, multimodal, text, video, etc. With the templates in the main section of the page, any users with the Lightning AI icon next to their username is a Lightning AI team member. That way you can distinguish between the Lightning AI team and other community team members. Click into a template and you'll see an overview tab with documentation for the template and a files tab so you can preview the files included in the template. Click on community from the top menu to find community support in Discord, forums, documentation, along with other educational content. Click on open source at the top menu to find open source libraries for training and serving AI models. The top menu also links to the extensive documentation mentioned in the previous sections. If you found this useful, like and comment. If you want more content on AI and workflow automation, subscribe to the channel.